some awesome skills. Their, their stick handling, their communication with each other is phenomenal. Right from you know the very first practice that they all got together, and they you can tell you can tell that they've developed these skills right from a young age, and some of them have been playing since they were really really young. So it's pretty awesome to see them all together in our gym. We're trying to teach them that using both hands is, is a big thing, ground balls, and just your lacrosse IQ of getting knowing where you are in the field and where your teammates are, and uh, communication is a big thing. So it's good. A lot of the girls have it. It's going to be a fun, fun season, a fun group of girls. So. I'm one of the younger players, so I think just trying to be inclusive to everyone and being super friendly to everyone and making sure that everyone feels like they have a spot on the team. It's a four-year age group, like it's varsity, so it's everyone playing against each other, which I think is super cool, because if you have friends that are older that you're playing against or if you have friends in other grades, I think that's really cool to play. I get to see all my friends from school, which is good. Um, and some of the people who are trying out, like, they don't play um, like rep, so it's good to hang out with them and see them play lacrosse with them. You're, you don't usually talk to or you're not usually friends with people who are two years younger than you, so you might not feel as comfortable. So definitely teamwork, building friendships is a big part of playing with girls you don't usually play with. Well, I didn't get to play through COVID, and I've always wanted to play for school lacrosse, but unfortunately because of COVID, we never got to play, so now is my last chance. Everyone's gotten pretty close already, and we've already improved quite a bit. The girls are really energetic, and they're, they're, they listen, and they're willing. They, it's like they can't wait to go.